What's that can't stop laughing moment where you're in a situation you shouldn't be laughing? My grandparents, both sets, insisted on burying my parents as Catholic for their funeral. Little did they know. My parents hadn't been practicing the religion since they moved out of their parents' home. They hired a lady who was singing off-tune Catholic songs so loud into the microphone that it felt like a drunk karaoke concert. Everyone probably thought I was shaking from crying in the front row by myself but I was literally laughing so goddamn hard I had tears streaming down my face. I had to practically choke myself to keep the giggles from coming out. I could just imagine my parents next to me going WTF is this? And laughing with me. It was a very inappropriate time to laugh but that dang lady got the best of me. Back in 2004. I was at my cousin's funeral. And my aunt was in such a shocked state. She couldn't stop laughing. She was known to do this at funerals. Because laughing is contagious. I also started laughing a little bit. And I had to go to the back of the church. And to the bathroom to get it out of me. I was at church for my grandfather 5th year death anniversary and the guy singing was so bad my grandma and me were almost died from laughter. Edit. There's a scene in The Pianist, which is about the holocaust, where a woman is shot in the street and her body folds in on itself as she falls to the ground. We watched that movie in sophomore year English class after reading the book Night by Ely Wiesel. It was completely silent in the classroom during virtually the whole film. But at that part in particular. Some kid piped up from the back of the class. Into the silence. With this sad. Disappointed tone in his voice. Like he just found out the lunch lady was out of chicken nuggets. Oh. She folded. So many of us busted out laughing and it was completely inappropriate and I could not help it at all. The teacher was not pleased. I heard a kid fart in church during a wedding. I had to remove myself because I couldn't get it under control. It was one of those loud. Echo of the old wooden pew farts. Not me. But my friend. She was getting fired from her job. And all she could think about was what'll it be fellas? Mustard. Or ketchup. From the Spongebob Squarepants movie. My mother and father went to a funeral of one of mother's aunts that she was not close to. In fact my father had never met her. As they stood at the open casket my father said to my mother she just doesn't look like herself again my father had never seen the aunt before. For whatever reason this struck my mother as very funny and she started laughing. She held her hands to her face and ran from the casket. Her sisters saw this and thought she distraught and followed her out to console her. Where my mother had to explain that she was laughing and not crying and why. She was so pissed at my father it was hilarious. With a group of friends talking about random shti. After a while the topic of Alzheimer's disease comes up and a friend comments that his grandmother died of Alzheimer's. Another friend goes. Didn't know you could die of Alzheimer's. Always thought you died of the complications. And then another friend casually blurts. Maybe she just forgot she was alive. I had to leave the room because I was crying from laughing. I had this really nice but really awkward physics teacher in high school. He was a large nerdy man but spoke with a lisp and a very soft voice. Imagine the guy from office space asking for his stapler. That's how he sounded. One day he is giving his lesson and mid sentence he goes from this voice to what sounded like Satan himself. Ok class please, deep hell voice, take out your books. Cough cough firm um, excuse me must have something in my throat. Then continued like nothing happened. I could not. For the life of me stop fking laughing and I was the only fking one. It was the most bizarre and fking hilarious thing I had ever seen. I had to walk out of the class to catch my composure. This was at least 15 years ago now and I'll never forget it. At a funeral. The pastor kept referring to God as the great comforter and all I could think of was a tacky bedspread glowing with holy light. Every time he said it my giggles got worse to the point I had to pretend I was crying really hard and left to hide in the bathroom. Visiting my grandmother's grave with my grandfather for the first time a few years ago. 
expected tears and a solemn day. Instead we passed a grave marked wonder and my grandfather said well I wonder what killed her? None of us could stop laughing. My grandmother would have loved it. My friends from college and I are still super close even 15 years later. There's an inside joke involving giving people a specific fake name that we always laugh about when we get together. Last week one of these friends tried to kill himself. We'll call him John. John's brother, another of the close friends, called me and told me that John had tried to kill himself and that he was at the hospital. Then he tells me that when asked for identification at the scene of the suicide attempt John gave the paramedics a fake name from college. As sad as I was about what had happened I bust out laughing so hard when he told me. I couldn't help it. I'm laughing now even thinking about it. All of the other members of the group had the same reaction when John's brother called them. All of them. We've got Lake of Fireside property in hell. Cheers. Last year's Thanksgiving. Right before the meal we all stood in a big circle and said a prayer and what we are thankful for. Well my mom's uncle. I will refer to him as uncle. His name is Dick. Yes uncle Dick. When we all stood up. It was revealed that uncle Dick had forgotten to zip up his jeans after going to the bathroom. My dad and I were directly across from uncle Dick and we were barely keeping from bursting out in all our laughter. Then he leaned over to me and whispered. I'm thankful that Uncle Dick remembered to put on fresh underwear this morning. About halfway through the meal we were still laughing about it when grandma came over to yell at us for being distracting. She basically asked what we were laughing at in a not so nice voice. We pointed her gaze across the room and she couldn't help but laugh a bit. We told her it had been like that the whole meal. The way we had the tables set up was a big square of folding banquet tables. So we could look out straight ahead of us at Uncle Dick's boxes. Held up a cadaver's arm. Forgot the arm was detached to the body. Raised it up. Wondered why it was loose. Panicked that I detached it. Dropped it on the floor and thought the professor was gonna be mad. Hid the arm under the gunny. While the professor was staring at me zero. Five terrors behind. I turned around. Looked at her and lagged. Worst. Moment. Ever. In school we did a course on mythology and had a project where we had to write our own mythological stories for the creation of creatures places etc. One kid wrote a story about how a man was abusing his horse. So the gods cursed him. One day his horse threw him onto a spear which went through the back of his head and out of his forehead. And he transformed into the first unicorn. I couldn't let King stop laughing for a solid 5 minutes. The teacher berated me for laughing at violence but the kid and I both thought that was funny ish t. My father's funeral. My daughter was 3 months old and have a lot of belly pain. Dot. She farted so loudly that the priest needed to stop talking for us to stop laughing. He even told us that the church was a serious place. And if we couldn't behave to get out. I told him the deceased was my father. And I couldn't control my daughter's farts. When I was a second year law student. I had a classmate abruptly get up. Mid lecture. And waddle quickly out of the lecture hall. There were about 90 students in the lecture and. In law school. The academic approach is the Socratic method. Which is usually the professor and one student going one. One during the course of a lecture class. A dude comes back into the classroom and the professor abruptly halts his current line of questioning with another student. I'm front of the class. The professor asks the returning student. Is everything okay? The student responds bad chipotle and walked back to his seat. I spent the rest of the lecture period giggling through the professor grilling students about family law. P.L. Dr. A classmate in law school has an explosive bout with Chipotle that made him duck run to the bathroom in the middle of a lecture. In high school there was three religion courses you could pick. Catholic. Evangelic. Edit. I'm told it's Protestant in English. Or neutral. You would have different topics in class and different destinations on the yearly trip. I picked Catholic and on the yearly trip we went to a monastery. On the third day one of the exercises was to talk about death. 
So there's 20 kids in a circle of chairs and everyone's crying because everyone lost a loved one at some point and death is a hard topic. The teacher starts talking about how she imagines death to be like and begins to tell. I imagine after dying there to be a long long spiral staircase. And you go down and down until there's a door and behind that door. The rest I didn't hear because my friend next to me whispers. A muff ken kebab stand we both sat there giggling for like 20 more minutes until the meeting was over. To this day I feel really bad. Was sat at dinner with friends this week and one of the kiddos was saying they had extra stomachs for some particular food. Started talking about how cows had extra stomachs. Then somehow it got to comparing humans and cows and one of them said in the brightest. Most angelic voice. But mum doesn't have udders. I made the mistake of glancing at her husband and I swear the filthy twinkle in his eye was audible. Thank fck I have long hair. I dropped my head down to look at my plate. So my hair covered my expression and sat there with my shoulders shaking silently. He asked in a rather amused voice if I was okay as I appeared to be vibrating. Couldn't left king breathe. Used to be a member of student council back in college and this one time during a meeting with the campus dean who was explaining, very seriously, how some students were shitting on the toilet walls and throwing little shitty on the toilet ceilings which were building up expenses for cleaning. Was asked to give ideas on how to tackle the issue and I clearly remember trying not to laugh and holding it in perfectly but then as I made eye contact with a friend of mine in the council we bursted out laughing to the point where our stomachs started to hurt which lead to other members of the council laughing out loud. It was the first time meeting the campus dean as well after that any time I'd see him he'd give me a dirty look. My granddad had if you don't know me by now played as the curtains closed at his funeral. Shouldn't have laughed. Couldn't help it. Legend. Edit. RIP my notifications. Thanks for the silver and pieces of flair. My dad had queens another one bites the dust on the way in and meatloaf spat out of hell on the way out. He was a character. When I worked with a financial advisor. He misspoke and asked me to check a client's investment in Blackcock. Instead of Blackrock. An industry fund. He didn't realize what he'd said. And he was super big on maintaining a professional. Humorless working environment. So I couldn't point it out. I managed to keep a straight face long enough to excuse myself. Then spend 15 minutes wheezing in a spare office. Some older kid at my school ended up in a coma after taking N2O. I think he ended dying so it's a pretty dark story. And one of the principals came into an assembly and angrily declared nitrous oxide is no laughing matter. Comma. I think most of us were too young to know that nitrous oxide is laughing gas but for some reason I knew so everyone was silent scared of the angry teacher. And I was just there trying not to laugh audibly. During a cathedral confirmation liturgy. The bishop let out a resounding fart in the reverberant room as he elevated the host. Immediately. The deacon began swinging the incense pot, furable, because the altar boys kneeling directly behind the bishop started holding their noses and waving their hands. Comma because the altar boys kneeling directly behind. The one directly behind was safe since the bishop could only fart diagonally. My senior year of high school I went to this memorial breakfast with my principal and a few other seniors because my principal was begging a few of us to go and hey. Free breakfast. So getting to the end this woman starts singing an incredibly moving song. And she's doing beautifully. But I look over at my principal and he just looks so dead. Like his face was completely blank and because I also don't deal well with emotion apparently. I thought it was the funniest thing ever. So while this lady is singing and some people are crying I am losing my mind and trying so hard to stop laughing and I can't. My friends thought I was having a complete mental breakdown. Like I'd finally lost my mind or something. I felt absolutely horrible about it and ducked out as soon as I could. Edit. This is the most liked thing I've ever posted on Reddit and it's basically me being a horrible person. By accident. On the best date of my life I went to see a really stupid movie A Walk to Remember. Edit cause many are asking. With my first girlfriend. We were sitting in the 4th to 5th row from the screen and 2 rows ahead of us were a group of younger girls. 
one of them is rushing back to her seat with her friends and she slips and falls. It was a nasty fall too and even though I felt bad for her I couldn't stop laughing. It was awful. I don't know why I couldn't stop and I was even like. God I know I shouldn't laugh but that's just making me laugh harder. It took me at least 10 minutes to stop. Girl who fell. If you're out there somewhere I hope my laughing didn't make you feel bad. To this day I still don't really get why it was so damn funny to me. High school English class. Which was first period. A few days before I got in trouble for sleeping and coming in late. My teacher called me a hibernating bear. Which I found funny. A few days later we're doing oral book reports and this one kid with a stutter was doing his. The class was being patient with him. But he was struggling along. Then he gets to a point in his book where he talks about a bear. Which he stuttered. That reminded me of how just a few days before I was called a bear and how funny I thought that was. So I busted up laughing. I was not laughing at him for stuttering. I was laughing at being reminded of being called a bear. However I realized that's exactly what it looked like. The entire class gasped at me in horror. I didn't even try to defend myself. But I do promise it was not directed at him. It was at being called a bear myself. So. In my school. My geography teacher was notorious for scolding students in the most creative language and while one of my friends was getting scolded, I think the teacher said something about Shrek's donkey having more brains or something. I couldn't control my laughter and drank water to choke and cough so that I don't get scolded for laughing. Guy on the train invisible pain after an exclamation of oh god from inhaling my poison ass gas and I can't control myself as he's gagging. Even off the train I continued to lose my composure and choke on unexpected laughter. Even years later I still do. Eater. Thank you fellow farty friends for making this my most awarded and upvoted comment. When my grandpa was dying he would do a lot of black humor when me and him found hilarious. Just silly stuff. Well the unfortunate happened and he passed away and was created. His ashes were put in a box and the box put in a rim and s bag. So my aunt turns up to the plot and people are crying and I swear I hear my grandpa say they better not have left me on the kitchen table. And I lost it to couldn't stop laughing I could see in my mind's eye opening the bag and grandpa not there. I just couldn't stop. Laughing. My mum kinda got it when I explained it as she knew that was something he would say. My parents used corporal punishment but that was a long time ago and no. I already dealt with it. But one time my brother and I got into trouble for not listening. Enough that it warned spanking, according to my dad. So he started spanking me but the situation was kinda comical to us as kids. Especially because we were laughing from before my dad decided to spank me. So when he started spanking me for some reason my brother started laughing even louder. Which made me kinda giggle so my dad moved to try straighten him up which gave me time to burst out laughing. My dad kept trying to go back and forth spanking us. But we just couldn't stop laughing. His end reaction made it even more comical because after 5 minutes of trying he just stood there in the middle of the bathroom. Knowing full well he had been defeated. As he had started laughing as well. Just from us laughing. Eventually he just shook his head and left. Most other times my parents used corporal punishment made some of the worst memories. But that somehow still makes me giggle to these days. Oh god. My professor was very solemnly telling us during an emotional discussion about when he watched the North Tower fall on 9 stroke 11. I was so horrified that I started laughing. I physically couldn't stop and my eyes were begging for help. I laugh uncontrollably when I'm uncomfortable and that was one of my worst moments. Edit. The wholesome award. Thanks. Now we're both going to hell. I remember in 6th grade my teacher was telling us how some people talked about random annoyances in the morning of 9 stroke 11 that made them late to the towers and ultimately saved their life. I remember the death glare from my teacher when I burst out laughing when she relayed one about a guy who survived BC he saw a hot dog cart on the ground and was hungry before a beating and figured he could get one quick and so he went down and saw the plane hit while on the ground buying his hot dog.
The way she said that his life was saved by a hot dog was the kicker for me.